Now that you have built your dialect flow agent and put it on one or multiple channels, it is time to improve your chatbot. And we can do this by using the analytics and training feature in Dialogflow. So in this video, I will show you how we can improve the answers of our chatbot by using analytics and training. Let's dive in. So now I am in Dialogflow and I've selected the pizza bot that I already created in my previous videos. So then if you go to analytics, you can set the start date and the end date. So the start date, I will set it to the 1st of April and the end date, I will set it to the middle of April. So this is about 14 days of analytics. And in the overall view, you will see the number of sessions and the number of interactions in that time period. So for example, you can see that on the 9th of April, there were 13 sessions and there were 14 interactions but you have more views than just the overall view. So you can switch views to status codes, integrations, webhooks, languages. That's really interesting when you use different languages at the same time. But I think the most interesting views are the intents, the intent path, and the session path. So if you go to intents, you will see summarized stats by intent. So for each intent, you can see the number of sessions in which it was triggered, the number of interactions, and also the exit percentage. And the exit percentage really means that this was the last intent before someone left your chatbot. But you can also go to the intent path view, and the intent path view is way more interesting. So with the intent path, you can see how people are engaging with your chatbot. So they will first start with the session start, then they will mainly go to order pizza, like 45% of the session start with this intent, and then they will go to the default welcome intent, or they will go to the default fallback intent, or to the order pizza, upsell pizza no, or to the upsell pizza yes. So this will give you a lot of information on how people are engaging with your chatbot. And if you see in this overview that there are some weird connections, then maybe you should have a better look at how your chatbot is structured and how people are using your chatbot. So this will be the intent path, but you also have the session path. So the session path will mainly tell you how people are starting their session. So in my case, 49% of the people started with the default welcome intent and then 81% also ended at that same default welcome intent. But what you can also do is click on this plus sign and then you can have more information. So some people went from the default welcome intent to the default fallback intent. Some people went from the default welcome intent to the weird pizza intent and others went from the default welcome intent to the order pizza intent, but 81% ended at that intent. And you can also see that for the order pizza and also for the weird pizza intent. So this will give you a lot of information how your chatbot is used. But in addition to seeing how people are engaging with your chatbot, we also want to provide better answers. And if you want to provide better answers with your chatbot, you need to use training. So if you go to training, you will see all the conversations of your chatbot and you will also see the conversations your chatbot didn't understand. So the first thing that we will do is make the time frame a little bit larger. So we will set it from the 1st of April and then we will filter on the no match conversations. So a match in Dialogflow typically means that Dialogflow was able to understand the intent of the user and give a good response. But we want to improve the answers of our chatbot. So we're interested in the conversations that didn't have a match. And as you can see, the what kinds of products do you sell was a phrase that Dialogflow did not understand. So if you click on it, you will see that there are actually two phrases Dialogflow didn't understand. What kinds of products do you sell? And is it possible to say that again? So what we can do is create new intents so that our chatbot is able to answer those questions in the future. So right to intent, we can just click on click to assign and then we can create a new intent, which we will call kinds of pizzas. And automatically, this is set to a green check. So automatically, the what kinds of products do you sell phrase is added to the kinds of pizzas intent. The other two options 
is to add this phrase to the default fallback intent, or we can just remove this phrase. But because we want to improve the answers of our chatbot, we will add this to the kinds of pizza intent. But I don't know why, but this is not working. So if we now click on approve and we go to intents, you will see that the kinds of pizza intent is not created by Dialogflow. So just note that it's currently not working, but maybe in the future it will work. So what we can do is create a new intent, which we will call kinds of products, and we will set the response to we sell pizzas and click on save. And then if we go back to training and set the begin date to the 1st of April and we will filter on the no match conversations, then we can click on what kinds of products do you sell. And here we can click on click to assign and then select the kinds of products intent. And for the second phrase, we will just delete it. So we'll delete this and click on approve. So now if we go to the kinds of products intent, you will see that this training phrase is automatically added to this intent. And then if we type in what kinds of products do you sell, it will say we sell pizzas. And that's how you improve the answers of your chatbot by using Dialogflow training. If you have any questions on how you can improve your chatbot with Dialogflow, please leave a comment below and I will reply as soon as possible. If you want more videos on how you can use chatbots in your marketing, please subscribe to my channel. And if you haven't done this yet, also click the like button below.